Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a brand new epic Doctor Who unboxing video for today. Now, unfortunately, I did a video saying I wasn't going to get this um, back when it was announced. And, and I did a video basically a month ago talking about the artwork of it. But to be honest with you, I'm a sucker. And some people have asked me to, do, to get this and do a review on it. So here is Doctor Who Series 1 to 4 Remastered in blu-ray collection well yeah i wasn't really going to get this one because i do have the steel books of series one to four and i do have another steel book coming soon and i have got doctor who the complete series one to seven including the specials blu-ray box set already so some people have told me that this is brand new remaster the picture quality looks a lot better it sounds a lot better so i thought why not why don't I get it? Do an unboxing video and then see what my then we watch like series one, two, three, and four and the specials and see what I think of them at the end of each special. So let's get the cellophane off and then of course you can see what it looks like the box set. So here comes the cellophane off. So we have a normal standard box set. So we have literally Doctor Who, BBC Doctor Who, series one to four specials, Blu ray collection. Then of course we've got Heckelson and Tennant on the box on the back of the box we got Hickelson looking to the right and you got David Tennant looking like the promo picture from series two and then of course we have the new logo the diamond logo of it and then Doctor Who series one to four and the specials blu-ray collection and then of course on the back we have the fantastic Gallifrey sign here and you've got the, the TARDIS and at the back of it you got the information here so includes all 55 episodes from series 1 to 4, 2005 to 2008, plus the 10th Doctor specials, 2009 to 2010, upscaled using the latest hardware con conversion technology for Blu-ray. Includes exis existing bonus features and a brand new interview with David Tennant and Russell T. Davis. And then, of course, as you can see, mine's got a bit of a scuffy there, but I don't really mind that. So, yeah, let's take these out. So, that's what the inside of the box looks like. It's not a special box, but, you know, it's just a normal box. I wasn't really going to get these, but I have been asked by a few people if I can basically get these and then do my review on the remasters of Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, and what basically I think of them. So, so this is what Series 1 looks like. So, we've got Doctor Who, the complete first series. Nice little skinny blue box like we see for the normal regular Blu-rays. I still prefer the steel box, to be honest with you. Um, this is what it looks like at the front. And then that's what you look like on the back. You've got Heckleson from Dalek. You've got Rose from End of the World, Savine. You've got the Doctor from Rose. The episodes it includes, basically, is all of Series 1, all 13 episodes of Series 1, a.k.a. Rose, End of the World, The Unquite Dead, Aliens of London, Werewolf 3, Dalek, The Long Game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, The Doctor Dances, Boom Tomb, Bad Wolf, and Party of the Ways, including bonus features, basically, Doctor Confidential, commentary, slash interviews, behind the scenes, features, and much more. Um, Yeah, so let's take a look at the discs. The discs... Okay... I'm not really going to say much about the disc because it's literally just the same artwork as the cover. I would have preferred it if it had like other images on the disc, but no, it's all exactly the same with the doctors, with the doctor. So we have this one basically Rose, Ends of the World, The Unquiet Dead, Aliens London, and Werewolf 3. Disc 2 has Dalek Long Game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, and The Doctor Dances. And then the third disc has Boom Tomb, Bad Wolf, and Parting of the Ways. Then of course we have this little booklet i will get to that at some point and then of course to see what else you got you got this little leaflet and then of course you got a load of extras on here so basically for special features you've got bbc breakfast interview with christopher eccleson destroying the layer making doctor who with russell t davis w the w walking walk waking the dead land lying ghosts launch trailers the storyboard of the original trailer destruction of big ben this too we have on set with Billy Piper, Mike Tucker's Moxa Bell Zoom. I think that should have been on the first disc because Moxa Bell Zoom is only in the end of the world. 
the signing Doctor Who, The Adventures of Captain Jack, trailers and Easter eggs. And then, of course, on the third and final disc, we have Bringing Back the Doctor, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Tardis Tales, I Got a Sidekick Out of You, One Earth, Dalek, The Dark Side. I think this is all Doctor Who Confidential on the final disc. The Lost Battle, yeah, really just special features. Got a lot going on for it. Mm, yeah. If this is the full length of the confidentials that's basically been uploaded from BBC iPlayer, I think I'd be happy with that because they did do a short version of Doctor Who Confidential for the discs release. So that is basically... Oh, so that is basically Series 1. Series 2 is here. So we have that kind of promo picture of David Tennant, I think from basically the New Earth, which is not a great series. Now, Series 2, it is my least favourite Tennant series. It is my least favourite series out of all of modern Doctor Who from 2005 to 2022. I mean, in here, it literally says exactly the same things. Confidentials, commentary, interviews, behind the, behind the scenes, features and much more. I would have loved to have basically what we have in the classic series lineup in Doctor the Collection with basically um, behind the sofa. I think that would have been a lot better to go with these sets. That's what it should have been. I mean, in here we have the Christmas Invasion, New Earth, Teeth and Claws, Score Reunion, The Gun in the Fireplace, Rise of Summer and Age of Steel, The Edge Lantern, The Impossible Planet, Satan's Pit, Love of Monsters and Fear Her. Open it up. Okay. Uh, that's not good. My disc tray's broke for this one, and I've not even I've only just opened it. So yeah, my disc tray is actually broke. I should have a spare disc tray somewhere for this, just to replace it. Hopefully. Um. So basically, we have disc one. It's just the same artwork as the basically the leaflet and the cover. So disc one is literally the Christmas Invasion, New Earth, Teeth and Claws, Score Reunion, and the Girl in the Fireplace. Disc two, Rise of Summer, Age of Steel, Idiots, London, The Impossible Planet, and Satan's Pit. And then of course disc three is Love of Monsters, Fear Her, Army of Ghosts, and Doomsday. I wonder if they've actually added the or updated basically the the Fantastic Children We Need special. It is on here because I did notice that's got a few issues on the original blu-rays yeah just yeah confidential it looks like all confidential final welcome torchwood and all that so yeah that is series two i'm not too fussed about series two but i am quite interested to see what it's going to look like in the new remastered now i have got these because some people have asked me to do it like to do an unboxing video of them and then do a review on each one. Then, of course, we have Series 3 and you've got David Tennant looking pretty cool in the blue suit. I, I prefer the blue suit, to be honest with you. So it's got the exactly same episodes as the others, like Runaway Bride, Smith & Jones, The Shakespeare Code, Gridlock, Daleks in Manhattan, Evolution Daleks, The Lazarus Experiment 42, Human Nature, Family of Blood, Blink, Utopia, Sound of Drums and Last of the Time Lords. Then, of course, we have Confidential, Music and Monsters, Deleted Scene, Outtakes... Uh, commentary, Freemas, tour of the studio, and um, video diaries, and more. Got some good imagery there from Series 3, like from da Evolution of the Daleks and Evolution of the Ducks Against, Mipha Jones, and that. The discs are basically just exactly the same as the the actual artwork cover. So we have Runaway Bride, da -da -da. basically, it's just the same stuff as the other series, and of course, the leafler, and that's what you get. And luckily the dish tray's okay in this one. And then of course we have my favourite Tenant series, aka Series 4. I like that imagery of Tenant looking pretty cool there with Gallifrey and Tex at the back. I mean, Series 4, it is my favourite Tenant series. I do like David Hatt and Catherine Tate because they are absolutely amazing. Which is why I really did enjoy the very first um, 60th anniversary special on Saturday because I just absolutely loved it. It's got some great episodes in here, like Fudge the Damned. Absolutely brilliant. I do love it. Exactly the same as some of the other stuff. It even has the Children Need Time Crash. So what does it look like on the discs, you're probably wondering. So that is the first disc, which is basically Fudge the Damned, Partners in Crime, Fighter Pompeii, and Planet of the Ood. Disc 2. Oh, this is a four-disc set. 
oh, that's actually quite good. It's exactly the same as the Steel Book, really, where that's just basically four discs and the one that you got in Doctor the Collection Series 1 to 7. This has the Stis 2, the Centaurian Stratum, Poisonous Sky, Doctor's Daughter, the Unicorn and the Wasp. And then, of course, we have disc 3 is Science in the Library, Forest the Dead, Moon, Midnight, and Turn Left. And then we have the finale on just the final disc, which is actually quite good because on, on the final disc in the actual, like in the Steelbook and stuff, Stone Earth and Journey's End were basically shoved at the end of Turn Left and Midnight. So I think it's actually quite good to have a disc representing just that story itself, just the finale, which is actually quite good. Really looking forward to watching that that, that finale again. Exactly the same stuff as the others, including all the confidential stuff, including David Tennant's video diary on confidential. Now, the one thing that I'm really interested in is the fact if they've added the stuff that we had on the Steelbook release on this one in Doctor Who the Special. So you got David Tennant basically from the next Doctor Christmas special. Okay, no. They have not even added basically Dreamland, the Infinite Quest or the Wedding of sarah jane smith that's on the steel book so i'm hoping to get that one pretty soon i have ordered one I, it could be that one it could be series nine you do not know what one i've ordered of the steel book so yeah it's not actually got those that must make that makes the steel book basically more special to be honest with you, with, with you and then of course it's a free disc set with so you've got disc one looking pretty cool with basically the next Doctor, Planet of the Dead, and What is a Mars. Three specials on one. And then, of course, that's actually quite good. You got the End of Time Parts 1 and 2 together, which is absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, we have Doctor Confidentials on Disc 3, Interview with David Tennant and Russell T. Davis. If I look at the special features on the leaflet, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not got what makes the, spe the Steelbook quite special. Because the Steelbook does have on Blu-ray for the very first and only time. Which is basically Dreamland, The Infinite Quest and of course the fantastic story. The, the Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith from the Sarah Jane Adventures. So that is basically all the Steelbooks. And then of course we have the leaflet. So in the leaflet we've got a nice fantastic image with Peter Davison. Doctor Who comics. The Titan comics. Then of course we have the Edge of the Time Edge of Time, Edge of Reality, and of course, the blah, 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 the Lonely Assassins, which, to be honest with you, I do have the game, which is the Edge of Time and the Edge of Reality. Quite, That's actually quite a good game. I'm in the middle of playing it. Then, of course, we have the Season 20 by book. So, Season 20 is being represented here quite well. With Ark Infinity, you got Terminus, Terminus in Mordred Undead, Enlightenment, and the Five Doctors and King's Demon. Which is, I think that's because basically with season 20 coming out back in September, that's a good way to do it. Then, of course, we have Doctor Who being represented on final with Harv Harvest Nest, Dream Quest and something else and Doomsday. The fantastic brand new Doctor Who book that's been released by Freezer Hines. Um, he's basically a book adaptation of the evil of the Daleks. A Dalek Awakens, a.k.a. Escape Hot Game. So you can neither do that. You've got Doctor Who Origins. And then the final one, you've got Doctor Who Magazine. And all of the pins of the TARDISes we get. So like the the Gallifreyan TARDIS. You've got Hartnell's Police Box, Troughton's Police Box, Perpy's Police Box pins you can get. So yeah, that's basically that, really. I mean, is it going to be quite special? I do not know because I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing what the remasters are going to look like. I mean, I have been asked if I could do an unboxing and all, and do a review on them, which I probably will do. So I'll probably do my review on series one of the remasters quite soon. Um, it's not as good as the steelbooks. I mean, as I said, the special steelbooks literally do have Dream, Dreamland, the Infinite Quest, and the Wedding of Sarah J. Smith on Blu-ray. So I'm gonna try and get that one really, really soon. Hopefully, I mean, I have ordered one, so, and of course, I do have the 60th anniversary steelbooks. Do what do I prefer? Do I prefer these this artwork or do I prefer the fantastic steelbook? Well, I prefer the steelbooks to be honest with you. I do have series one to seven on the original collection set that came out. 
I mean, I'm going to see what the remasters are like, which is the one thing about getting this. And I have been asked if I could do a review on the remasters from Series 1 to the specials. What do I think of the box set itself? Well, it's not as good as the American release, because the American release does have Series 5 to 13, and you get like other extra stuff of it, where this one you just get the discs. Yeah, the artwork of the discs are a little bit disappointing, because it's just exactly the same as it is on the actual artwork where the original one looks quite good so yeah my welcome to my unboxing for doctor who the series one to four special and the specials what do i think of it uh i don't know i'm gonna have to see what the remasters are like but the box itself i'm not really too impressed with i think i prefer the artwork that we the american have got the american release has got especially with series five to thirteen but, yeah, I probably will do my reviews quite soon on what I think of the remastered. I'll probably review these one at a time. So, rewatch all the series one, see what I think of the remasters and all that. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And join me in the comments if you've got this set. What do you think of it? Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And join me for more awesome Doctor Who content. But, to be honest with you, I actually do prefer the steel books over this. But, I'm going to see what the remasters are like. I cannot be 100% honest, but that's how I actually feel. I prefer the steel books. But I'm going to see what the remasters are like.